Hello and welcome to Faith Unfiltered. I am your catechist Mary Ann. Did you know Devasahayam Pillai is the first lay martyr of India? He was born Nilakandan Pillai in the Hindu religion in present day Kanyakumari on April 23rd, 1712. After suffering a bad harvest and a great loss, he was inspired by the story of Job told to him by a Dutch official. Convinced further on the truths of the Christian faith, he requested baptism at the age of 33. He took up the name Deva Sahayam, a Tamil translation of Lazarus, which means God has helped. His words at baptism were, and I quote, No one compels me to become a Christian. If I have come to you, it is because I have such a strong faith that nothing could tear it out of my heart and I am ready to sacrifice for it all that still remains of my former wealth, my position, my family and even my life." And quote. However, Devasahayam could live his faith on earth for just seven years. The heads of his native religion were not happy with his conversion and subjected him to immense torture. He was put to shame in words and deeds. Some of his tortures were being put in a small narrow prison, torture with pepper and chili powder, parading on a buffalo on uneven roads, being flogged on his feet and legs, legs bound to a tree. Even ants, scorpions and snakes were added in his prison, but they never attacked him with God's blessings. He was even denied water, food and bath. Yet God was with Devasahayam. In the forest once left to die, he hit a rock with his elbow and there was a rush of fresh water. Even today, this is the miraculous well called Muttidichan Parai and people drink of it to be healed of their ailments. At last, on January 14, 1752, he was shot dead and was thrown in the forest. Here is the rock that Blessed Devasahayam prayed on before he was shot. He was given quarter of an hour to pray. You can see the prints of his elbow and knees even today. The soldiers then made him stand on this medium-sized rock and shot him. After he was shot, he fell down on this rock, which you can see even today. A few villagers found his body after two to three days under the shade of a banyan tree branch and buried him in St. Francis Xavier Church, which is today a cathedral in Nagakwe. His last words were, O oh Jesus, do not abandon me. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commit my spirit. O oh Blessed Mother Mary, help me. It seems when he was shot, a large stone rolled down the forest, ringing like a bell to announce his martyrdom. It rings like a bell even today. Let us listen to this bell. spiritual diary. Ensure you plan a visit to Kanyakumari or Nagarkoil 
and visit this place when possible. Let us now say a prayer and receive Blessed Deva Sahayam's blessings. Blessed Deva Sahayam, you set apart your life for the kingdom of God, leaving behind all the worldly pleasures of wealth, fame and glory. You were a true disciple of Christ, faithfully putting into practice the values of the gospel and gladly underwent persecution and torture. Help us to imitate you in leaving behind all the worldly pleasures and help us to live as children of the kingdom of God. May we live the values of the gospel so that we may one day enter into eternal life to be with God. O oh, blessed Deva Sahayam, pray and intercede for us. Amen. Bye.